a lot more than a sigh of relief when you talk to the people who actually live yeah. out there. And the bill we're talking about is SB 1432. It passed the legislature with strong bipartisan support. Basically, it sets up a new governmental entity to make sure that water sales to Rio Verde foothills is resumed. Now, while many people living in the Rio Verde foothill area have access to private wells, others depend on trunk deliveries from Scottsdale for their water. Those deliveries ended in January after Scottsdale cut off access to its water supply, saying at the time it was part of the city's drought management plans. Without access to the water, some Rio Verde residents have survived by hoarding rainwater to wash their clothes, take showers and flush their toilets. And one of the people is Lee Harris Arville, um, who described how hard it's been for her and her husband over the past six months. And this morning, she stood with a group of bipartisan lawmakers at the Capitol and urged the governor to waste no time signing this bill into law. We put in rainwater harvesting tanks, luckily in time for those heavy rains during the winter time and we were able to get enough water to be able to stay in our home by only flushing the toilets once per day, which is kind of stinky, but uh, it allowed us to camp in our home. Now, shortly after making those comments this morning, Governor Hobbs signed the legislation into law, saying, in part, this bipartisan bill shows that when we put politics aside, we can come together to solve problems for everyday Arizonans. While it isn't perfect, I'm glad we were able to deliver relief for the residents of Rio Verde Foothills. And before the water deliveries do resume, a few things have to happen. First, a newly created governmental entity, again, that oversees this, has to pick a, a group that will cut deals with private water companies to make those deliveries. Lawmakers who represent the area estimate it should take a few months from now before that happens. Okay, so a few months to get that water? Mm -hmm. A few months to get the water. Now, this was passed with an emergency clause, so it's right. not under regular, uh, like a regular bill that would have to wait till 90 days after the session mm -hmm. adjourns to take effect. This was passed with an emergency clause, again, overwhelming bipartisan support, so mm -hmm. this, can goes in, this bill goes into effect immediately. Mm -hmm. Any idea how Scottsdale feels about it? Yeah, and this is a big deal because Scottsdale, again, they were the ones that cut the access right. to the water. They said this was part of the drought management plans out and there. And gave plenty of warning as well. And, and did, and gave plenty of warning. And they came out with a statement today that said they were going to do whatever it took to try to make this agreement work mm -hmm. here into the future. All right, Dennis Welch, thank you.